What's going on? What's going on? This is Gully Cook coming to you straight from Gully Design. Today we're going to convert this Epson 15, XP 15,000, uh, convert it to a DTF uh, printer. So we're going to do this in two parts because it's kind of a little long to do it in one part. So we're going to do the first piece of the conversion and then we're going to come back for part two. All right, let's do it. So things that you need to do this conversion, basically you need a Philip head screwdriver or a star screwdriver. It's better if you have on a magnetic screwdriver. But if you don't, like me, I'm gonna use, I have a magnet, magnetic stick here, um, antenna type thing that I'm gonna use just in case my screw falls into the machine or whatever. Um, the first thing you wanna do is actually um, power up your machine. I'm gonna power it up here. It's already plugged in. Okay, it's powered up. And once it started to move, you're gonna unplug it. Once the carriage started to move, so you unplug it, so it's gonna be easy to access what you need to do in the next step. So the next step after you do that, there's a, um, these rollers here, you need to take them out. So in order to take it out, I'm gonna take out the whole piece here. In order to take it out, there's two screws. Um, and that's why we need the screwdriver. So there's a screw in the corner here. And there's a screw, not that it, there's a screw in the corner here. So I'm, I'm gonna start taking out the screw in the corner here. And this is where the, because I don't have a magnetic screwdriver, I'm going to use this to help me get the screw out from the printer before it falls into the printer. Uh-oh. There we go. So this is the screw. And then I'm going to slide this back here. That's the head. And I'm going to unscrew the second screw in the corner here. Yeah, I know. Ah, you see it fell inside? It happens. So I'm going to try my best to get it out. Okay, so it fell. I'm gonna have to shake this whole machine. But I'll take care of that after. Anyway, so now I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna take this of the rollers out of the um, printer. Okay, so I got that side up. I'm gonna try to get this side, this second side up. So you guys can't see dough in here, but I gotta get it up. Okay. So I got it up. And then I'm gonna try to take it out without damaging your head. Um, okay, it's coming. Gotta be careful, especially if you just purchased your new baby. All right, there we go. So it's out. This is all that really needs to be done. All right. I'm gonna try to find this screw. I 
Okay, I'm not gonna waste your time with this. I'm gonna. I'm not hearing it, but I'll get it afterwards. But anyway, um, so once this is done, your inks are already unpackaged. It. Your inks, you need to um, go ahead and remove the ink that is in the cartridge that it came with. So I'm going to show you guys that in part two, how to fill it, remove the ink and fill the new DTF ink. So I'm going to get that set up and I'll be right back with that in part two. Thank you guys for watching.